Welcome back guys to more Paper Mario, this is Charm City Gamer, this is episode 24. Now, I know I said that in episode 24 we would explore the main storyline, but I did some post-episode playing, and I found that there's a few more side quests we need to do, so let's we'll check those out first, and then we'll head into the main storyline. I apologize for the somewhat false promises, but anyway, you know, you gotta get the side quests done, you get a few extra star pieces, things like that. We will get to the main storyline probably by the end of this episode, I can promise you that, because I will not take too long to do this. But we know where the tasty tonic is, and we can easily find the comp we can easily find what we need. Also, give me tasty tonic. Thank you. Thank you kindly. And now I can deliver the coot first. We have to head further in. Let's use that too. I've heard a rumor about the stark scary blue mansion deep in the river forest. I don't believe it. Well, no one's ever, nobody's ever seen it. It must be a lie. Well, we'll see about that. Now we're at Club 64. Okay, we know you. We know where you are. Alright. Oh, that final right line just jumped into my mind. Sit tight, O Plumbing Knight. The race is won, now I'm done. I'm not really one to boast, but talent I've got the most. Now to my lyrics, raise a toast. Cha-ching, pop deep, and now we'll sing. Ah, but I'm afraid I just can't sing without any music. Ooh, Dratton Drear, my mind wasn't clear. Lyrics aren't the only thing pop deep needs again to sing. Without music, it's quite clear that even his voice, none will hear. Hmm, what shall I do, what shall I do? Who can pair my lyrics and music to? I know who! I heard a rumor that somewhere is a composer beyond compare. Special power his music brings, can it help the diva sing? Mario on my knees, won't you help pretty please? Here, take this and go, find the music, save our show. Here, get the lake, show it to composer somewhere in the world, I know exactly where to go. To Dry Dry Outpost we go! Actually, first Tasty Tonic, then Dry Dry Outpost. First group of village, then Dry Outpost. <laughs> oh, hey, Quizmo, there he is. Let's See our old quizzing buddy. I made a mistake in episode 23 when I said four times and actually five times before the show. Call Wiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo! Want to try the quiz? We do indeed. Let's go to the question. Question. How many members are there in the Mario family? Let's see what's going on. Five, I think. Yeah, six. Okay. There we go. Correct! Congratulations! That was totally an instinct, by the way. You're just our piece. You correctly answered nine questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell till we meet again. Farewell, sir. Disappear into that magic cat. Alright, now. First, we chat with the toads over here. See what they're talking about. I just saw an odd thing, a grey boo with a mustache. He seemed to be looking for someone who was wandering all around here. According to my sources, there's a boo mansion deeper than ever for report. Perhaps he came from there. This toad is diligent and very hardworking. He has a great work ethic. I heard he has a bit of a crush on my lovely if you're listening to his stomach. That's not what I wanted to hear. This toad is pretty smart. I wonder where he gets all of his information. There's a rumor that this is the toad who writes the toad drowned in times. There's also a rumor that Luigi is the one who writes it. I wonder if rumor is true. Probably this, probably the second one. Or not the first one. Anyway. So the pipe we go into two different locations we go. And then we can continue on our journey. We got another badge in already. Sadly we can't buy any of them, so we'll just leave them be. Oh, you know what? We should drop off that flower. Or, nah, we'll wait until we get at least two of them. Pipe again. I know where the pipe is. Why am I going down here? I, don't, I surely can't forget where the pipe is. I've been through it so many times that I should have it memorized by now. Back this way. Or was it the other way? Was it the other way or was it back the other way? I don't know. No, I know where it was. Just a momentary memory. That's why I try to remember where the darn pipe is. I should know it by now. You know, I've just been through so many different things that I had to go through, so forgive me if I really forgot where it was. 
Here it is, down here. Just a momentary elapse of where it was, that's all. First, to dry dry up post. To get the music. Ah, wrong place. I keep forgetting, dry dry up post is far left, but the is far right. I think this is where the composer lives. Yep. He's a toad in the desert. Sorry, this guy's music won't be the song. How about some karaoke? Just joking. This composer seems pretty darn good, doesn't he? He makes you want to dance. A composer, yes, that's me. I write songs as you can see. Wind in the desert, some old rock, free mind, sister. Uh, singing sister, la dee da dee da. I'm terrific. Writing me. Perhaps I'm, I think perhaps I'm not so good at writing lyrics. Can I give the lyrics to him? Hmm? What's this then? Well, uh-huh, fantastic. These are incredible lyrics. The wording is simple, yet whoever wrote them packed a powerful feeling. It's been a long time since I was moved by something so deeply. They moved me so much I just thought beautiful music to accompany them. Wait just a second. Phew, I've written the perfect music for these lyrics. I caution you, though, that this music can only be sung can be sung only by an expert. I know of no one to says that. Here, take my masterpiece. Give it to the master one. Two town. Melody. I wonder if there's anyone with a voice pure enough to sing my soothing music. My heart leaps at the thought. We know exactly who. First, we have to deliver the chasey tonic to the group so we get off our backs. <laughs> Second, check it in time. Okay, at 3.02, so we're about 6 minutes in. Only a time to make 4 for for this episode. Did you do Chasey Tonics there? Pouring piranhas, you're like a psychic Mario! This is exactly what I wanted! As a gesture of my gratitude and generosity, take this! Oh, you're on 3 so late, young fella! Take this! One coin! Oh, what luck you came to work time! Oh, another favor. Lovely. Good thing we're going to be important now living up to our summits. So if you would, I want you to hike up there and ask for an autograph. <sighs> I'll get it next episode or something. You know what? Let's head back to Dry Dry Outpost. Let's see if we can get the crystal ball now. I think that's what you'd want in exchange for it. Hey, <sighs> This scoop of is going to be the end of me. I'm telling you. He's always asking for so many different favors, it's like nonsense sometimes. Oh, Quizmo again. Second time in the episode. Co-Wiz! Is everyone's favorite quiz master? Quizmo! Want to try the quiz? We do. Let's go to the question. You are an instant source of star pieces and stalking. Put the right answer in the quiz. A star piece. That was too easy. Correct. Congratulations, here's your star piece. He's stalking us again, guys. <laughs> You've correctly answered 10 questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell. Till we meet again. Yes, yes, we know. You tend to pop up everywhere. Hello, welcome. Not good. Okay, fine. Can't get a good ball without going to my lovely fudge buckets. So we gotta make another trip. First off, we deliver the lyrics. So let's go do that first. Club 64. We are here with what can make Pop Diva sing. Woo! Say it so, that's music, no? And let's get the melody home. Hmm. Oh yes, 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 it's the best. With this music, we rejoice for it. We'll give Pop Diva voice. Now, Chanterelle, please do tell, will you sing this new song? Come now, we can't wait long. Oh, it's perfect, so beautiful! 
But what if I can't sing it? Hey, hey, it'll be okay. You can do it. Nothing to it. Be courageous. Sing it loud. Warp along. Sweet and proud. Yes, I will try to sing. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. Now I want to share singing. Looks like this is going to take too long. Okay, we are in a tight together. Okay, that didn't take long at all. Bravo! Hear, hear! This sweet song has brought me tears. To Mario, our greatest thanks because of your popular book ranks. I can sing, la da! I'm overjoyed! Thank you! You saved me, Mario! I wish I could do more, but here's a small gift. Please treasure it. You get the attack FX D badge. Alright, no problem. Mmm, check to all the voices even more sweet and tender than before. Her trials of these past days most likely helped her in a way. Welcome to Club 64. How do you like the club, dude? Pretty posh, right? Yeah, we know. Ever since Bowser skidded over the castle, we haven't had as near as many customers. Well, people try their best to act like everything's the moment, but deep down they're all real worried. Who can have a good time partying when they're sad? I have no idea. At least, can't turn off and sing again. Well, that's for a batch. It really can't do much of anything, but whatever. Let's roll out of here. Shooting stars in it. To hopefully get the last favor. Because these favors are driving me up the proverbial wall. I wanted to be in Fervor Forest right now. But because of my good Samaritan will, I have to go do this favor for him. Jeez. Well, I guess the more episodes you have. More eager people are to see your eventual triumph, huh? I guess that's one way to look at it. And who says I have to stop it at 20 minutes? I can make it longer. I made episodes longer in the past. What's up? Me now? Nothing. Alright. Ah, my my! Hello there, Mario! This spot is a little tight for fortune money. If you want your fortune right, talk to me over the counter. Excuse me? You want my autograph? My, my, mercy, are you sure it's mine you want? You really do? Well, this is the first. What shall I do? Ah, of course. I don't mean to be a stick in the mud, but I'll give you the autograph on one condition. A small favor. I want you to visit my twin sister and fetch a crystal ball from her. She lives in a back alley in Red Eye Outpost. Her name is Merley. Well, Mario, would you? Oh, well, indeed, just to get that... Well, Get that crystal ball to hopefully finally satiate Koopa Koot's favor favorite need. His favorite chain is getting out of hand. It's eating up my episodes. But it'll be worth it in the end because we get star pieces, and star pieces lead to new badges. So we're back down the pipe, get the crystal ball, and back shooting star summit. Another episode going. Uh, so going, going, gone, seems like. Because we're going to have to burn another one doing favors and errands. Oh, we'll manage. Down to the stewards, everybody! We will get to the fair before, before this episode's over, I promise you that. I mean, we've already been in there once, we didn't really explore it though. We will start exploring for this episode's over. Promise. You know me, I always keep my promises. Oh, Prisma 1 tour. Third time in episode. Everyone's here with Prisma, sir. We'll try the quiz. Let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of the smart turret living in Toad Town? Rusty. Correct! Congratulations, here's your star piece. Thank you kindly. And just 11 questions so far. Good luck next time. Oh, so long farewell till we meet again. Disappear into that magic hat. We now have... Let's see. We now have 10 star pieces. I suppose we're going to three times this episode. Now we can get what we want from her. 
My older sister, my lovely. What's she want? Oh, I see. Is that so? I bet I know. Oh, uh ho? -huh. Okay, okay. Please give this to my lovely with love from her sister, Lily. You got the crystal ball. A gorgeous crystal ball. Give it to my lovely. Thank you. Now we can head out of here. And back to eating some stomach, grab the autograph. Then back to Cooper Village and hopefully get that final favor done. I swear, if he has another favor, I'm going to break and scream. I am sick of doing this guy favors for a while. I just want to kick back and enjoy the story, not do favors. But the side quests are good for getting star pieces and extra coins when you get it. So, I suppose it all works out in the end. But it is quite a time consumer because you have to go so far to get to certain pieces. If you know what I mean. I mean, hold on. Started at 302, it's now 318, so that's 16 minutes. So this is almost being exhausted all by this one favor chain. Oh well. We'll just have to stretch this episode just a little longer. That's what we'll do. We'll make this one a little longer to compensate. Because I promised you guys I was gonna explore forever first, and darned if I'm gonna if I'm gonna let this episode be derailed by just a favor chain. This episode will end in Fervor Forest, I can assure you of that. Ah, my my, hello there Mario. Ah, bye. Give the crystal ball. Oh mercy, thank you, I'll cherish this. And for you, here's my autograph, as promised. It'll be valuable someday. Hers is much more neater than Luigi's. Now to Koopa Cooch, and hopefully finally end this blasted favor chain, so I can get back to Fervor Forest in Chapter 3. I mean, nothing against the old poop, but you're starting to run me ragged. I mean, my goodness, how many favors would I possibly have to do? It's getting ridiculous. Let's get a drink, guys. I mean, the guy is absolutely running us ragged. He's running us up the walls to every part of the Mushroom Kingdom. He's just going up and up, up and up, up and up. He's running us to here in Kingdom Come, it seems like. <laughs> but at least this is the last thing we have to do. And then we can head into the forest and finally start exploring it. At least I hope it is, because if he has another favor, I'm just going to say the heck with the favor, I'll come back and do it later. I'm not going to do another favor with this guy. I've done enough favors for one day for him. Oh, please let this be the last favor. Have mercy on me. Let this be the final favor. But I might as well check Cooper and see if Quizmo popped up. Lord, I'm sorry, he has. Yep, there he is, right on cue. Right on cue for a fourth appearance. I think he's trying to set his record again. Who is it? Don't say quiz master. Let's try the quiz. Let's go to the question. Question. How many buildings are there in Cooper Village? Six. Correct. Congratulations, here's your star piece. Thank you kindly. I can answer 12 questions so far. Good luck next time. Well, well, so long. Farewell. See me again. Probably for a fifth time. There's three here and then three the other way. Six. And I tell you, the amount of times he's popped up has been incredible. Here, pick the autograph. Leave us alone. Jumping jungle bodies! You're peerless, Mario! My word, good gracious! Oh, oh my, what beautiful handwriting! Be still, my heart! Uh, that is, that will be the heart of my collection! You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Cooper so many favors! This time I'll give you this special gift as thanks! Don't tell me anybody, though I've got a reputation as a miser to keep! Oh, you don't have to be so light, young fellow, take this! 
Three star pieces, nice. For one sec, they came through for us, giving us now 14 star pieces. Oh, it's Mario, is it? That's what they're having, hmm? I can't think of any favors. Thank you! Last favor! Finally! I can head to Forever Forest in peace! I can finally head there in peace. But just tempt fate, let's see if Quizmo pops up again. Let's see if he ties his record. I bet you will, just a mess with us. Let's explore Toad Town first. See if he shows up here. If he doesn't, we'll head back to Koopa Village. See if he shows up there. If he shows up in Dried Out Desert, or Dried Out Post, so be it. We'll see him 6th and 7th time. Nope, not there. Not here, either. I do not fear ghosts. The only thing I fear is the thought of losing you. I know we've gone through this. We've read through that one. Okay, let's head down to, I guess, Cooper Village to see if he's there. If he is there, then cool. We can get another quiz from him. We started at 3.02. It's not 3.23, so it's about 21 minutes. It's a little longer than usual. We might as well just check every place into a town to see if he appears. Nope, not there either. Did they show up by the docks? I don't think he showed up the docks, does he? No, I don't believe so. Whatever the case, I know he's a pawn, I just can't find him. I'm simply just tempting fate here, trying to find him. I probably shouldn't. What well, I really do is waste time looking for him. <laughs> That's what I'd end up doing. But I might like to write up and see if he's there. If not, you know, he's not there. And just leave him be. Can make farm another time. Well, that can't hurt to try, right? Is he a dry dry outpost? Gotta check the other section. Serious? No, he's not. Shocking. Then that means he must be in Koopa Village. Aha, the dark hidden. Alright, let's go find him. I know where he is. I know exactly where he is. He's where he was the last time we found him. Oh, he's not here either? Hmm. Must be really playing hard to get. Well, in that case, that was a total waste of time. Let's just head into uh, Forever Forest then. He's uh, fooled us twice. I thought he'd be in one place and he wasn't. And he... Wait, there's one other place he would be. And I think I know where. It's gotta be in Google Village. I wouldn't be this out here. There he is! I found him! For the fifth time, Chuck Wismo appears! The following, who is not a member of the Koopa Bros? Lou. Correct! Congratulations, here's a star piece! Five episodes and five times an episode, I'll be completing his quizzes long before the end of the game. So meet again. You know, let's see if we can find him a record six time. Can't hurt to look, right? Well, 
What is oh, there he is. Found him right away. Tell me, it's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo. He's still technically stalking us, but I was pretty much kind of stalking him for the sixth time. Fifth and sixth time, yeah. So our record for Quizmo quizzes is six now in an episode. How many points do you need to buy a mushroom? Two points. Two points. What? I actually missed. Huh. Well, we better go see if we can track him down again. So we can get that star piece that we missed. We actually missed it for us. That never happens. Better check the shop just to make sure we don't mess up again. Ah, four. Okay. Let's check him down one more time. First time you ever missed a turquoise in the quiz, so that's definitely a rarity. Let's see him for a record seventh time. Nope, not here. Probably back at Goomba Village again. If not there, we know he's in Koopa Village. There he is, now let's get our star piece. Because you know exactly what the quiz will be, because he always has the same question if you miss it if you miss the first time. Four. For the seventh time, although we should have a new question, but whatever, we missed the first time, we'll get the seventh quiz and the lucky seven quizzes in one episode. So fourteen of fifteen. Now we can at last head to River Forest and begin exploring. I know, it's a 27 minute long episode so far, but I promised. Boy, this forest is really dark and spooky. People said if you don't choose the exact right path, you'll get totally lost. I can believe it. This looks like the time later you can get lost and the monsters come out of the grass and... Hey! Did you know- did you not- did you notice that grass over there wrestling? I swear I saw it move! From Forest Toe Town. Okay... Okay, I guess the wrestling flowers are the clue to move on. Hmm, what do you think you're doing? This is Forever Forest. The path ahead of you is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know that? You better go back. This is Oakley. He lives in Forever Forest. He guards the entry to Forever Forest from wanderers from getting lost. He helps any town so you get lost inside. That beard, for some reason, I feel like yanking it. I'm okay, so that's your story. You're invited to Boo's Mansion. You may pass, then. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this forest, you have to pay real close attention to your surroundings. If you choose the wrong path, you want to pack at the forest edge before you know it. The areas around the correct path will always look slightly different from the others. Watch carefully for clues. For example, in this area, take a good look at the inner trees as you walk around. In one of them, you'll spot strange glowing eyes. The exit near that tree is the path you want to take. These clues will be different in other parts of the forest. Watch the other forest very, very carefully as you go. He hops off to somewhere. We don't know. Right. Mario! Don't look now, but I think I saw an eye trying to deep inside that hole in the tree. That tree. Fuzzy! Ah, we got a fight on us. It's a jungle fuzzy, so let's power jump it. Or forest fuzzy, excuse me. Okay, we know it has at least 6 HP. So we took out one at least. Alright. Power bounce! 
Ah, extra attack strength. That's what we needed. And the fuzzy goes down without a fight. Where's their point? Excellent. Points. Hmm. Yeah. Look, there's that tree we need. Shadow. Ah. Oh. Couldn't avoid the fuzzy. Let's put them to sleep. I know this is a half hour episode now. We'll probably finish it after we get through this pathway. And they're all asleep. For two turns each. This is a forest fuzzy. Forest fuzzies are always green. Max HP is 6, attack on 1, defense power 0. If they grab full of you, they absorb your HP and add it to their own. Fiends, those no good. Oh, and they sometimes divide. If they divide, they become even stronger. So try to beat them before they can split. this round and one next turn. Ah! You got the HP back. No problem. Power bounce instead of power jump. And just like that, the fuzzy is defeated. Now Gumbario can finish it off. Where you go, little buddy? Six more star points, drop 68, and even nearer level now. Sorry about the random flipping out of the screen there. And there's the tree we were looking for. We can move further ahead. Well guys, we're in the middle of Forever Forest, and in episode 25 we will explore the forest further, and see what other mysteries lie ahead. Till then, this is your boy Charm City Gamer, and I'm out. Peace!